What's up guys, today we look at two bodybuilders from the golden era, Frank Zijn and Arnold Schwarzenegger, two athletes that competed in a time that aesthetics were more important than muscle mass. They presented great physique in good proportion. They are an immense inspiration for millions of fitness lovers, bodybuilders and people who want to work on their physical condition. Frank Zane was born in 1942 in Kingston, Pennsylvania in the USA. He is 5 feet 9 or 1.75 meter and weighed 190 pounds or 86 kilograms during his competition and 205 pounds or 93 kilograms off season. His nickname was The Chemist. As Frank says himself, he took a lot of supplements and tons of amino acids. Back then that was pretty unusual and that's how he got the nickname The Chemist. In an interview, Frank says that he took around 100 capsules of amino acids and different vitamins with every meal. He ate 6 to 7 small meals a day. The meals were necessary for a good absorption of his supplements. Zane is a 3 time Mr. Olympia from 1977 to 1979. His reign represented a shift in emphasis from mass to aesthetics. Zane's physique featured the second thinnest waistline of all the Mr. Olympia after Sergio Oliva, with his wide shoulders making for a distinctive V-taper. Arnold Schwarzenegger was born in 1947 in Tal Styria in Austria. He is 6 feet 2 inches or 1.88 meter and weighed 250 pounds or 110 kilogram during contest and 260 pounds or 118 kilogram off season. He had the nickname the Austrian Oak. Schwarzenegger is considered among the most important figures in the history of bodybuilding. Compared to Frank Zane, Arnold has a different, heavier body composition. He is more a strong, big, imposing guy. He didn't have a small waist like Frank. To hide his wider midsection, he mostly posed with a slightly turn of his waist. In his early bodybuilding years, he also trained very heavy and competed in several Olympic weightlifting and powerlifting contests. Arnold was very famous for his biceps peak. That is so visible in this pose. Frank was famous for his symmetry and small waist like we mentioned before. He had a good V-shaped body. Arnold had also a heavier bone structure and overall bigger frame. Frank was more the slender type and had not such a big back as Arnold. The lats and trapezius muscles were more thick on Arnold. Frank had massive round shoulders with great definition. Arnold's shoulders were also amazing with good muscle separation. Arnold's most popular part was his chest. He had huge pecs and he knew so good how to present his chest in the best possible way. Frank was the master of the vacuum stomach pose. This was his favorite pose at the end of his posing routine. Also the triceps were trained very hard so that the arms looked much fuller. Despite what some people say about the small legs in the classic physique, the legs had a lot of attention and were very well developed in my opinion. It's not necessary to have thicker legs. As said before, Arnold trained hard and with heavy weights. He had also done weightlifting in the past. His personal records are really impressive for a bodybuilder. The personal records of Arnold are in the squat 545 pounds or 247 kilograms. In the bench press he pushed 520 pounds or 240 kilograms. And in the deadlift he pulled 683 pounds or 310 kilograms. Mm -hmm. 
Arnold won four times Mr. Universe and seven times Mr. Olympia. He won the competitions from 1970 to 1975. After 75, he announced his retirement. But in 1980, he came out of retirement and won a last time the Mr. Olympia. Schwarzenegger has acknowledged using performance enhancing anabolic steroids while they were legal, writing in 1977 that steroids were helpful to me in maintaining muscle size while on a strict diet in preparation for a contest. I did not use them for muscle growth, but rather for muscle maintenance when cutting up. He has also called it the drugs tissue building. Ok guys, I hope you found this video somehow interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments and who is your favorite bodybuilder of all time. Thanks for watching and have a pleasant day.